Hello, friends, it's Mr. Jim, and welcome back to Kids Animal Stories. Have you been able to play a game of cricket tag yet? Like in our last episode we talked about? I hope so, I definitely have. Well, are you ready to hear part two of our adventure about Jiminy the Cricket, who is on some kind of musical adventure with a cicada that can make some pretty sick sounds? Are you guys ready for today's adventure? Me too! Let's go! Jiminy did not sleep well that night. His mind just couldn't stop replaying over and over and over the sounds that he had heard coming from the forest. And he had to check it out for himself. As he ate his breakfast and off to school he went, He took a little bit of a longer route to get to school and stopped by the park to see if that cicada was still there. He walked around the park and didn't see anything or hear anything. Oh no, I don't know if I'll ever be able to see that thing again. I gotta figure out what in the world he was doing. Jiminy continued on to school, a little sad, but he knew that he had to figure this out. All of his friends were talking about the big concert that was going on tonight that everyone had been practicing for. I know, said one of his friends. I can't wait for my solo. I've been working for weeks on that. It's such a hard part, but I can't wait to perform it. They all turned and looked to Jiminy and asked, Hey, Jiminy, are you ready for your solo? Oh, oh, wait, what? Jiminy was still really distracted all day long. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm totally ready. I've, I've been working for a long time on that part, and it's going to be great. Jiminy, are you okay? Said one of his friends. Yeah, I, I'm okay. I just can't stop thinking about something, and it's got me really distracted. What is it? Said one of his friends. Okay, you guys have to promise not to laugh, Okay. Oh, we promise. Like, what are you talking about? Okay. I heard last yesterday at the park, I heard this sound coming from a cicada that it was amazing. It sounded like this. or Like all this beats and bops and it was amazing. His crickets stood there and stared. Wait, what was that? That was so cool. Do it again, Jiminy. Oh, it was, it was like this. They were all in awe. They had never heard a sound like that before. Jiminy, that was totally insane. You've got to teach us how you do that. (laughs) Jiminy laughed to himself. I don't, I don't even know. I don't even know what I'm doing or talking about. I just, I heard it one time and I'm just trying to learn more about it. Jiminy? His best friend pulled him in close. I beg you, please learn all about that and teach us how to master it because that was absolutely amazing and we have got to hear more. Jiminy nodded his head. Okay, after school, I'm going to go try and find that cicada and bring him back to school so you guys can all hear him for yourself. It'll be insane. All right. All of his friends high-fived Jiminy and they went back to class. As soon as school was out, Jiminy ran as fast as he could to the playground. And back in the woods, he heard it again. Wait, don't stop. That was amazing, said Jiminy. Hey, what's going on? The name's Chad. What's up? That was Chad the Cicada. Hey, Chad, my name's Jiminy, and I'm a huge fan. I've heard you a few times, and it's, wow, how do you do that? You've got to come to school with me right now and show all my friends, because I tried to show them a little bit of what you do, but you're so much better, and they have to hear it for themselves. Yeah, sure, dude. Let's let's head over there right now. Chad and Jiminy hurried off back to school to meet up with all of Jiminy's friends. They were kind of running out of time because it was almost time for that big violin performance. 
Like everyone's parents were coming to this big concert, even Jiminy's. So they had to do this quickly and show his friends before that started. Hey guys, we're over here. His name's Chad. I, I found him. Guys, you have to hear this. All right, Chad, show him what you can do. All of the crickets started to gather around in the parking lot. They couldn't believe how amazing Chad was. And Jiminy, he felt something inside that he had to get out. Uh, like a song, a message, something that was really important. He wasn't exactly sure wh what it was, but Chad needed to do this again. Chad, can you do that beat again? Said Jiminy. Oh, Goodness, Chad. Yes, that was it. Do that again. Here we go. Was born with a reed in my left hand. Was told that's what crickets do. Join the band. All this drumming and strumming with the different sticks. I've been searching and searching for a new lick. Eh. Oh my. What are my feet doing right now? I can't stop dancing. I can't stop. Chad. But this beat got me feeling something new. Look at me now with my new shoes. Oh, oh, these are these are my dancing shoes. Chad, what's going on? This is amazing. Wait, why'd you stop? All the crickets in the parking lot erupted into a big cheer. Jiminy, Jiminy. They couldn't believe that that came out of Jiminy. Wow. Thank you, guys. As Jiminy turned around, there were his parents in the parking lot. His eyes were as big as donuts. Oh, hey, mom and dad. Jiminy, that was amazing, his dad said. Wait, what? You're, you're not mad at me? No, we're not mad at you. We just wish that we knew that you were so good at this. I don't even know what it is, but I can tell that you're amazing said his mom. And that is the day that Jiminy the Cricket became Jiminy the Rappin' Cricket. He thought that his parents would not approve of this because he's supposed to be a violin player. But actually, he learned that his parents were so happy to support him in what he loved to do. And so instead of keeping it a secret, he probably, he definitely should have told them from the start because I think it would have been a lot more exciting. Well, friends, this is the end of our story, but I think just the beginning of an amazing adventure for Jiminy. The end.